So it's finally come to console. This is my Net Farms map by Mappers Paradise, 306.77 megabyte in the download. And it says this map is based off Manet Farms headquarters located in Swift Current, Canada. Oh, excellent. Obviously, it's been out for a while on PC, but I'm on console. So we're going to take a look at it today. So you do have a required mod that you will need to download. The Bulgo 3420 100 Paralink Hodrill plus 71300 Air Cart by Giants. Obviously, it should give you the option to download it as soon as you download the map itself. It did for me anyway. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,206 slots. Now, if you come on New Farmer, you're going to use 1,349. Now, a lot of that is to do with the equipment. And there is a lot of equipment, I must admit. So if we go into there, we've got this. On the medium tractors, we've got the JCB Fast Track 4220. On the last tractors, we got the Case Steiger Quad Track 470 times three. <laughs> yeah, three of them. And then the Magnum 400 Power Drive. On the trucks, we got the Anthem 6x4 times two. On the harvesters, we've got four Axial Flow 9250s. <laughs> got four of them. Oh, that's ridiculous. On the cars, we've got the Pickup 1986. On the trailers, we got the Distinction Super B Pull Trailer times two, and then the Lee Trailer times two. Then we go over to Orga Wagons. We got the Demco 2200 Dual Orga Grain Cart times two. We then come down to headers. We got the 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 foot times three. We then got on the corn headers the 4418N. On the disc harrows the Speed Tiller 475. On the cedars we got the Borgo obviously because that's the required mod. On the mowers, we've got the GMD 4411. Now, that's interesting because we've got massive equipment with the harvesters, but only a small mower. All right, fair enough. On the tethers, we've got the Fanex 904. On the forage wagons, we've got the Rapide 580V. And we'll come down to animals, we've got the PF 2.24+. Plus. And on the front loaders, we've got the XB 190. On the front loader tools, we've got the Universal Bucket, Manure Fork, and Bale Spike. On the weights, we've got the Agco 2300. Then on the belt systems, we've got the Convey All 1690. That's a lot of equipment, <laughs> especially those harvesters. That's brilliant. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Right, so what about the map? Here is your map. Now, you start the game on all three game modes around the central shop area. And that's where most of your equipment is. And it's set up like you can run from here. Yeah, so if you come on New Farmer, obviously you own all the land. Like that, 1, 28, 30, 11, and 8 down here. But also the shop area. Now, if you was to sell off all that land, you could have like a little contractor sort of shenanigans on the go. Oh, that's all right. I mean, to be fair, even the land itself is not that badly priced for the size of it. I mean, 17 fields in there. I mean, that one's 352 grand. The biggest one there, 836. To be fair, I've seen worse on maps. That's all right. Anyway, so you start all three game modes on here. So first stop, we've got our little house. Yeah, there's a house actually by the shop. So we come in here like that. We will come down. All these doors open inside. Open up that one. There's your sleep trigger. And we open up that. There you are. Get a bit stuck now. Come on. There you are. Open up that door. There's your wardrobe trigger. So we'll come back out of there. Nice little kitchen area for you to relax in so we'll come down this side and we've got a little bit of a shed on the go open up that door like that fair enough a bit of storage on the go in there and we'll come down here you've got all these all these silos i mean that's ace <laughs> it's a, loads of them absolute loads of them i mean you can get to it like that refill them up you can refill with anything 240,000 litres, you can put anything there, you can just buy it in, you don't even need to get it out of the ground anymore. Oh, that's all right, that's all right indeed. I mean, what about over here? Can we buy in on these? Herbicide, just herbicide in that one. Fair enough, and we come down here, so can we go into this one? Open up that one like that, yeah. So what's in here? Let's have a look. It's a bit more storage, drive through option the other end. So we'll come out of there, we've got some more buy inable silos here. What can we buy on these? These look like fertilizer ones, so lime, solid fertilizer, fair enough. On those ones, 
some more silos around here. Obviously, they are the ones that you're going to need the conveyor with. So obviously, that's what that's there for. You've got a big silo there. Loading in point just there for you. I mean, look at all those bins. That's insane. And then you've got all your harvesters lined up next to your tractors, ready to go, as you do. <laughs> it's just a wicked. Oh, I love it. Got some more silos down the end. Obviously, you can very already set up. And then you come around here and you've got the main shop. This is awesome. I mean, you come in there like that, you open up that door. <laughs> you come in there, you've got big three side doors on there. You've got your workshop area just there. And if we come through here, these doors open as well. We come into the main office. There's your workshop trigger. And all these doors open. You could really get some role play on the go in here. There's toilets. You need to go in there for a poo if you needed one. Oh, this is ace. You know, just open the door like that. You know, oh, I brought my tractor in for a service, that sort of thing. Yeah, this is ace. I mean, come back out here. There we are. That's better. Open up these two doors as well if you wanted to. You could easily get a role play shenanigans on the go in here, no problem. You can even go upstairs, actually. See what's. I'm stuck. There we are. Let's go find the stairs. What's upstairs? Yeah, I'll go through here. Oh, stairs around here. There we are. Right, so let's go upstairs like that. Come on, there we are. Oh, we're, up. we're up. Open up that door like that. So all the doors that have got handles on, you can open up. So the ones that haven't, like that one, you can't. Once you get upstairs, big office environment. Oh, yeah, you can have, like, your sales manager in there. You can have your service manager. You know, that could be, like, your social media outlet. Whatever you want to do. You have boardroom meeting on the go. Why not? And there's even, like, a little kitchen down the bottom or like that let's go down these stairs why not so we'll go open up that door there you are it's at the side of this desk oh ace i like that that is a nice setup a nice space outside for parking up as well yeah oh what have we got around here oh that's interesting oh we've got a fuel tank fill it up twenty-five thousand liters jobs are good and we've got another tank here that looks like a water tank Let's zoom in. Click on that. Yeah, Manette water tank. Just there for you, right outside the workshop doors. Oh, that's all right. Right then, we're going to carry on. We're going to come up to the top left-hand corner of the map. So first up is going to be your fuel station. So let's see how much they're charging, actually. 69. Oh, nice. <laughs> dear, oh, dear. Right, we're going to come over there. We're going to go over the road. There we are. Manette seeds. All right, fair enough. So we come in there, you've got a, another Bible silo there. So click on that. Oh, seed production. Yes, all right. We'll produce all the seeds that you need. Oh, that's all right indeed. I mean, you're going to need to put different things in. So liquid fertilizer and herbicide and then all the different crops. You get seeds out of it. That's all right. You come over here, you've got your sow points just in there. Obviously, that barrier is going to open up when a vehicle comes through. I like that. That's all right. Right, we'll carry on. So we go back up to the map like that. And we're going to come down to this one down here. So as you can tell from the... <clears throat> so as you can tell from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So just in here, going to be your bale sales. And then just there is your animal dialogue box. But to be fair, next door, it's a big open area. Up over the fence like that. That's going to be that area there. 26, 12 grand. Yeah. Place some stuff down. Oh, that's all right. Right then, we're going to carry on again. We're going to come down to this area down here. So first up is going to be a sow points. This is wool market. Oh, that's interesting. Sell your wool bales there. Although that's cotton bales, but all right, fair enough. When we come out of there, and we're going to go around these massive silos. I mean, they're not to be used. They're just for decoration, but they are huge. Very nice. So we come down here. It's like a little industrial area. So then first up, we've got this one here. So we've got a sow point just there for you. So that is going to be this one here. So we'll zoom in a little. Click on that. Come on. There you are. Swift Market. So sell your stuff there. Next door to that is going to be your dairy. So you're loading in just there. You've got your production chain menu just there. So 70 grand to buy. There's your pallet spawn point. And then next to that, got another sell point which is going to be this one here so we'll click on that there you are milk market 
then we'll spin it around again and you've got a buy point there for your line fair enough right next door it is that's going to be your main dealer so you come down here like that go through the door oh this is very nice can you open the big door no just the side one once you're inside there's your shop menu oh look at this this is ace can we open up any of these doors no but still look at the inside of that that's brilliant you got your trade center just in there i mean if you can get in there like that hey oh you could you know take tractors in and get them fixed up and whatever oh role play role play for the win on that one that is very nice we'll have a look down here got anything around the back there you are there's your workshop trigger hit your spanner do any of these doors open no it's just a building for decoration mind you but that that reception area that is very nice i think that's the best one we've seen uh, in my opinion obviously everyone likes things differently but that looks brilliant and you got the buckets there ready to go that's ace oh very nice right we're going to go over the road to the production chain so what we've got here is swift grain elevator all right fair enough let's click on that we'll buy that what can we do here grain mill all right fair enough so you load your stuff in there and we'll come out this side where's the pallet spawn point it's going to be down this end so it can be around the back oh this is interesting hunt where the pallets are going to come out <laughs> oh dear oh dear right so come down this end we're going to go through a bush why not that's interesting oh are they going to come in the shed possibly possibly i mean it looks like that way can't see anywhere else where they'd spawn out i'm assuming they're going to come in the shed then and it is a production chain all right fair enough we're going to carry on so if we go back up to the map like that we're going to come across to this area over here this is going to be another fuel station for you so old school on this one that being said saying zero all right fair enough oh can we get inside yes we can oh we open these doors yes oh you could sort yourself out a little role play down here little garage fixing it up fixing up the tractors for the local farmers bit of a diner on the go in here as well oh yes that is ace down here oh, i love that building make yourself a little mechanic salary oh fair enough right we'll carry on we're going to come over the road we're going to go near like that so what we've got here miller's sawmill so i think we can gather what's going to be over here it's going to be a sawmill I think the name gives it away but all right you got your production chain menu just there so 95 grand pallet spawn point just there loading in point just there with your sally wood icon just there being said wood chip taken out point and we've got a floating bale oh no it's not it's been held up by the crane fair enough all the way back there it looked like it was floating just my eyes all right fair enough we're going to come over to this area here so you've got a couple of things down here. So first off is your debris crusher. Loading at the front, at the top, if you wanted to. We spin it around, and we've got this here. We're going to click on that. There you are, deroot. Oh, where you sell your root crops? Right, fair enough, you've got to open it up. Yes, you do, there you are. Open the hatch, sell your root crops. Oh, fair enough, that is ace. <laughs> right. We'll carry on. We're now going to come up to the main start farm just to finish off. So first off, we've got a production chain. And this is going to be a fermenting silo. Ooh, that's all right. So you load your stuff in over there. Take it out there. There's your production menu just there. You have to buy it. 135 grand. Yeah, okay. Chaff, hay, grass. Fair enough. you got a bit of storage under there. And you've got this building here. I'll open up that like that. So a bit of storage inside, bit of an office workshop sort of thing on the go. And then we'll come out of there and we're going to go over that gate. Because this is your main start farm. Although to be fair, on New Farmer there's no sleep trigger here. The actual sleep trigger is at the shop. Right, fair enough. Satellite dish there, get some 
TV on the go? Oh, oh, let's give it a go. Can we get it? Can we get it in? Why not? <gasps> no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. <laughs> Carry on. So we'll hop over there like that. We've got a nice big bunker silo just there for you. And next door is Ace. Free range cows. I mean, there's one outside there. That's brilliant. But it goes out into this big field as well. Well, I'm not sure how far it does go all the way down. But still, that's a massive grazing area for your cows. That's awesome. And you do own it on new farmers. So if you come back up to the map like that, you own this big area of 30. That's all yours. Is there one down there? That's never a cow down here. It is as well. It's a cow. It's all the way down here. That's awesome. Afternoon. <laughs> dear, oh dear. That is brilliant. The cows come out miles. Oh, that's ace. And do you know what's ace about this as well? For some strange reason, I haven't put cows into this building. It is as the map starts. You know, you've got your slurry taken out there. Your food and your straw goes into here. And your milk and your animal dialogue box are this end. So you've got your milk there, animal dialogue box there. It takes 140 cows, but we've got 150 in. I'm, I'm not quite sure how that works. We've got more cows in there than we should have. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> a bit of storage under here as well, but still, why not? A bit of junk there, because obviously all farms have a bit of junk knocking around. I like that. Cattle grid, because obviously they're free range. You don't want them escaping, although they might just walk around it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear. That being said, though, that is ace. I do like this map. I mean, that whole free range cow pasture, that's brilliant. I mean, just look how far out it goes. I mean, those cows go miles out. All the way down here. That is brilliant. I mean, if you wanted to sell the cows and just plough it out, you know, you go for it. Make it a massive field. But still, with that cow barn, pasture, whatever you want to call it, the shop setup you got up here, sort of like contractor role, and that little shop we had down the bottom, this really does lead into some role play shenanigans. I mean, there's big fields as well. So you are going to need that big set of equipment that you start on new farm with anyway, just to get it all done. But still, this is ace. I love it. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Why not click the join button? Come join us on Andy's farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.